In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to plot some data and create uh, the linear regression and obtain some information about the linear regression using the line st command. The line st command. What we have here is a list of uh, uh, candies. In this case, these are M&M candies and the weights of those candies. So we would expect if one M&M candy weighs 0.86 grams, then the second should weigh twice that, two, three of them should weigh three times the, that of one candy, so on and so forth. <clears throat> we'll put this data here and zoom in so that you can uh, follow along and uh, type it in an Excel file if you would like. Okay, so first thing we want to do is plot the data. I'm going to select the data, left click and drag, and click insert scatter plot, not connecting the dots. And there we get our plot. A couple things we want to do to the plot to make it use, uh, usable in a uh, document. Get rid of these grid lines by selecting them left click and delete. Get rid of the legend, delete. We want to add uh, axis labels. We can do that under layout, axis titles. There we go. Rotate it for the vertical one. And let's just single left click, select. And put in the appropriate information. Notice how I put in the units. The other thing that I like is since we only have one series here, there's really no reason for us to have any uh, multiple colors. So I am going to make this black and in order to do so, we need to change both the marker fill and the marker line color. And there we go. Notice how there is this line around the border here. We won't want that if we want to cut and paste this into a Word document. Right click in the chart area, format chart area, border, no line. These windows will look pretty much the same in both Office 2010 and 2007. If you have an earlier version, come see me. <clears throat> okay, to create a linear regression line, right click, add trend line. We want a linear one, display equation, and r squared. And that gives us our equation. Now, when we put this information into a Word document, we will want, not want this uh, equation in the uh, uh, in the figure, so we will have to delete that. But I'm going to leave it up right now just to show you that these uh, the following commands give us the same information. The uh, if we just want something like the slope, okay, sorry about that. We want to use a, uh, an Excel function to try to access the slope and the intercept and the R squared value right here. To do that, if we want the slope, we're going to use the function slope. In inserting a, slope, a function in Excel, you need to first type in the uh, equal sign, S-L-O-P-E, put the name of the function, open parentheses for the variables. Notice here we want the known y's and the known x's. First the known y's, I'm going to click and drag. The known y's, press comma, Known x's, close my parentheses, enter. 0.8525 is the right number. Intercept and r squared are going to be entered the same way using the function intercept. And then the function r squared for r squared. Notice how we get the same information, which is good because we don't want that. Now there's another function called line st, which provides us some additional information. In particular, 
the standard errors of the slope and the intercept. Where the name of that function is line st, and what we need to do, what we need to know about line st is that it is an array function, which means that it will return a information in a number of cells, whereas these functions return one number in one cell, line st actually returns numbers in a uh, six cells in this two by three matrix, such as that. The way you enter a, uh, an array function, you start off by selecting the six cells that are going to be, uh, uh, are going to contain your answers. And it has to be in the right dimension, so it has to be two columns and three, ro uh, three rows. Then I'm going to type in equals line st. Again, this takes the same information as the other two. Plus two additional constants, we're going to type in true and true. What this means is uh, we want it to return the, uh, the, the statistics. Now here's the key. I'm pressing Control shift enter in order to get those numbers. Control shift enter If I didn't press Control shift enter Notice, if I just press enter, I only get one of the boxes. It doesn't realize, Excel doesn't realize that it was a, uh, uh, an array function. I can go back into this equation, oops, press escape. I can go back into that equation and press control shift enter after I've highlighted everything so I, uh, so I can save myself. Control shift enter. That's the key that we want to, want to, to uh, remember. Now it doesn't tell us which number is which, so that's why I did this, the uh, the individual ones first. And we notice that upper left hand corner is the slope, spelled correctly. The right hand corner is the intercept, and the lower left hand corner is r squared. Then, if we were to look at the help file, we would see. This is the standard deviation of the slope. This is the standard deviation of the intercept. And this is the standard deviation of the y value that we would calculate using this equation. So if we wanted to figure out, say, how much four and a half candies would weigh, we could figure out that number using y equals mx plus b. And this would be the standard error, the plus or minus four. Um, for that value. Okay, so uh, so there you have it.